Okay. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are uh, back in another uh, <clears throat> 5M video. I have not recorded in a while. It has been a second. Um, Jesus, I don't even know where to where to even start. So, um, I figured I'd give you guys a little shop tour in a different city and uh, figure I'll uh, we'll uh, we'll go do some practice for an upcoming race. Um, so shop report. Um, we got this nice, beautiful shop here in the in their farm, um, or like uh, in uh, North Los Santos, uh, a little bit north of there, between Sandy and Los Santos. Um, and yeah, we got this nice shop that we uh, we work out of um, every uh, every night, working on the three cars we got here and uh, trying to keep these things up and running. So um, yeah, but. Starting it off, I think we're gonna take this car today, but we got the uh, we got the USMTS modified here. Um, love this car, just totally love it. Uh, great car, fun to drive. Um, then we got the the B mod up here. We got it up on the lift. We're working on some of the exhaust later, and for some reason it's still on. But um, yeah, got her up on the lift and fixing her up for the next race. Uh, then we got the late model. That's 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 a fun story. <laughs> Junked this thing a couple weeks ago. Uh, I had to had to throw it on the jig and throw some new bars on it and new motor and all that. But um, raced it once, and that's that's it. Threw a new wrap on it, raced it once. Um, car still doesn't feel the same, so um, might have to go buy a new chassis. But yeah, that's a late model. So um, junked her out at Fairbury up north so um that was that was not fun so but yeah um i'm gonna actually since we'll probably stay a night at the track they're having a practice session at um or I, at least i rented out the track privately um we're having a practice session at um at what's the track what track are we doing next um I don't even remember what track it was. Oh, Fremont. So, um, they're having a, a test session there. So, um, I'm going to I'm gonna take my truck and my old classic. And I hear it's supposed to rain the next couple of days um, tomorrow. So, I, and I might not make it, might not make it back in time. Um, so, I'm going to, I'm going to go park the, park the truck inside the garage just for, just to be safe. I don't want anything to happen happen to it I can't talk so um actually I think I'm just gonna throw it up on the on the lift here if it'll fit I guess I've never actually tried to put it up on the lift but yeah it'll fit we'll uh, we'll make that work so um it probably won't go up so I'm not worried about how it sits but we'll just we'll stick the lift up or the truck up on there and if I can get up and over there um, I'm gonna go get the, get the truck out, and, uh, we'll load her up here, and I will, uh, I'll probably do a time, time lapse here, just me loading the, loading the car up, and then, um, and then heading to the track, so, um, I will meet you guys down at, uh, down at Fremont.
Okay, we uh, we made it down. We made it to uh, made it to Fremont down here. Let's. Um, I wonder if I can. There's not going to be anybody here. Actually, I did make a tweet saying that I would be down here if anybody did want to come in, um, come in practice. So we'll uh, we'll see if anybody actually shows up. But I'm gonna pull in. We're gonna angle the truck a little bit and get it as close as we can. And then I am going to <clears throat> try. We'll get this car unloaded here. Maybe it doesn't want to do the. I'll have to do it the old fashioned way. I'll just unfold the little rear ramp here, so I'm not too worried about trying to. I just hop in the car to unload. Like, I don't know, there's a lot of people do theirs differently, but. Um. Yeah, we'll get the car unloaded here, and then I'll probably pop off the hood and make some adjustments. Um, I, I don't know what's going to be. And of course, the engine. Put the engine off. I don't know. I don't know what extra it is, though. Um, I think for the just the sake of this, I think I'm just gonna, yeah. I think for the sake of the time saved, we're just gonna we'll pop up. We gotta so the way that we do it in Southwest uh, roleplay is we um use a laptop. Um. You just do laptop, and you have literally all you can change everything. Um, the rules for these cars are um, the USMTS cars. We can change the uh, setups in them, um, but we can't change traction or the power unless you're turning it down. Um, and then we can change the only other thing that we can change is the brake force brake and suspension is pretty much all anybody messes with um i'm gonna actually screw with um i'm gonna there's a lot of testing that goes into this but i'm gonna go point five and that so it doesn't I'm not gonna do as much as I want it to do and then you're gonna want the height rear is gonna be like a three two and then a rebound bump. I think if you went down it gives you more we're gonna do tune vehicle presets, and then we're gonna do USMTS Remont V 1.1. We'll do save, and then it should show up at the bottom here. We'll do select, and then we can go out onto the track. Um, first I gotta get my driver's suit on though. We'll just we'll leave the car running here and we'll pop into the trailer. Oh, I didn't want to hop on top. Pop into the trailer here real quick. I'm just gonna do this for mask on here already. 
Let's hop in the car. Helmet on. We're good. So yeah, um, I'm gonna probably do a lap around here. This is our next race in the USMTS series uh, with the USMTS cars. Um, so let's um, let me get the tires warmed up a little bit here. I gotta screw it to the setup, so it's probably gonna be it's gonna gonna probably take a couple times. I'll probably have to run into the. Uh, run into the trailer real quick and grab some notes or something, you know. Um, we'll kind of let her eat here and see what we can come up with. The top side around this place is definitely always faster. Um, I personally made this track. Um, I will leave that in the description. Um, if you guys want to go purchase it, it is pur purchasable throughout my Tebex. Tebex, or however you want to say it. Um, but yeah. So, car's pushing a little bit. Coming off the corner. Um, and we do, yep, we do got this thing on the rev limiter, you know, so. Um, See what we can do with this thing. I like running it up way up on the top side here. Because you can get a really good exit if you can get the car to rotate right. Um, but if the car is pushing off the corner, it's really hard to get it kind of rotated. Especially when the track is this hooked up. Um... I mean, like, we can, we can get the car into the bottom. But I just don't feel like it's, it's going to be as fast as the, as the top side. You know, so. Um, yeah, and see, even there, I had to, like, the car got tight. I even had to, like, hit the brakes to kind of, um, to kind of, yep, break the car loose right there, you know. It just gets so tight in the middle. I'm wondering... Wondering if I need to, uh, wondering if I need to maybe pull it in and wonder if I could put in a little bit more roll center rear and if that would make the car, I don't know, I think the car, it honestly doesn't feel too bad right now. Um, I think we got another guy that showed up, seeing my tweet, I, I believe, I believe that's, yeah, that's Woods, so. Um, <clears throat> Woods showed up, Dave Woods. Um, we just call him by Woods. Um, he's a great guy to race with, so. Um. Let's see what we can. What we can do here. See if he can pass us, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. So, I guess it'll show how good our setup really is. in the cushion we'll see we'll see what we can do on the bottom just don't feel like we get quite the run off the corner as we should. But I don't know where he's at back there. I don't want to push up into him, but... Go back to the top here and we'll see what we can... can get it to rotate really good on the bottom but I can't get it to I got no drive off basically I 
and just remembering that we cannot change grip levels we can't do none of that so um, see if we could drive it any harder I just don't want to spin the wheels too much woods on our inside there Okay. Okay, we're back, folks. I want to get it, yeah, see that? It rotated great there. I can drive it off and have no problems, but... Set up key binds in that. Yeah. yeah, we'll see if we can catch him from from back here. I want to see. Like, I feel comfortable in this setup, but I feel like the car could roll a little bit more, and it would be a little bit better, like getting off of the corner, I guess. I think the top is starting to kind of wear off, though. Definitely not. Not as good as it was. Pull it off here. <sighs> and then I'm going to make a setup change. Um, I want to, I want to change the roll height rear to like a like a two wait no I guess we're going so I'm gonna change it to like a five we'll select that Is gonna. What's up, buddy? What's up? How's it going? Oh, you know, another wonderful day here. Another wonderful day, yeah, getting some practice in. See ya. Yeah, yeah well, I figured I'd at least turn some laps. I mean, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm hanging up the helmet for this series. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna take over 
uh, for safety officials. Oh, well, that's sad to hear. Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting, I think, uh, like third or fourth in points. Huh. But, I mean, I'd rather folks have good nights racing than, you know, have two different people making the calls. Right, yeah. I, I get it, so I'm just try out here trying to kind of the last couple of races in the US area car, or the US MTS car. I didn't feel like I had the setup quite right. And I feel like I kind of needed a little bit more practice before the race. So I was like, well, screw it. I'm, I might as well kind of just come down here and see if we can get some stuff dialed in before the next race. So, If you don't mind me asking, not that I'm going to steal your setup, how much how much dig are you getting out of that right rear? Um, I got like a, I got, I just threw in like a negative 0 0.53, I think it was. Um just to see if I could get the car to roll over a little bit more on the right rear, but I, I haven't tried it yet, so. Um, I tell you, man, I have no problem giving it to you. I can give you my setup, and it's honestly dead serious. Same thing on my B mod. Same thing. Uh, the uh, only difference is, is my front end is a little different to where it'll actually allow it to roll over on that right front. Hmm. I, I, well, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. I kind of like building my own setups, but I'll, uh, I'll definitely let you know if I need it. All right, yeah, for sure. Are so, you ready to go out and run some more? Yeah, I'm going to go out and run some more. All right, I'm going to go get in mine. All right. Okay. I'm going to get back in it and see if we could run some more laps. Thing sounds amazing, by the way. Chris. Hello. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, we got the sound fixed. I had the sound way screwed up. on that one. It's tight coming off the corner. It definitely is. So that might really push. So yeah, I mean, it's tight. It's just so tight coming in the corner. I can't I can't do anything. Just gonna pop the laptop open real quick and see if I can And just for context, uh Woods over there, he is the owner of uh Napa, so He's a uh, he's a great guy to do business with. Okay, we're gonna do like a four, cause I I liked it. It might be great in between, cause I I liked what we had before, but I wish I could have got a little bit more out of the car. Um, so I'm gonna see what I can get out of 
this. There we go. Should break if I ooh. loose on the bottom I noticed but if I think if I drive it in there right yeah see like that and if I don't get it don't over steer I think it'll be fine on the bottom if I need to do it on the bottom I think you just really gotta slow it down because it's so loose down there so I wonder if I could diamond, kind of, not really diamond it, but drive it off the top side onto the bottom. And get kind of a better run. I'll go over. Okay. Not bad, so. Showing we almost out of fuel here. Don't ask how I can tell. So, um, I think that's actually going to wrap up our testing session. Um, just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to, not going to, uh, time lapse everything back. I'll, uh, I'll probably load the car up here and, um, and we'll, uh, probably end it here because I don't want to, I don't want to stretch this on too long, you know, so, um, I'll load the car up. Okay, I'm going to change back into my uh, shirt, and um, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching guys, and um, it's fun, I'm going to try and get back into this, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how we do, so thanks for watching everybody, and uh, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below, um, yeah, I'm going to be that guy, so, um, if you're interested in the trailer, uh, it is in my, it should be in my, uh, my, uh, comment, or my, uh, description below. If you're in uh, interested in the track, it's, uh, it's on my Tabex. I should, uh, I'll post that on the description. Um, and as far as the car goes, that it's, it, that is a private mod. Um, and out of that, um, I think we're good. So, uh, thanks for watching everybody and, uh, have a good one.